So if you saw the other video about modern romance where I feature this book, um, then yeah, maybe you're here for that. I hope maybe I'll edit this video. I probably should edit it. Knowing me, I won't. I'm sorry. Um, Whiskey Words in a Shovel, Part Two. This is by R. H. Sin or Arch R. H. Sign. I'm not sure. If you saw the other video, I I kind of went with Sign, so I'm gonna I'm gonna refer to him as Sign. So what I'm gonna do in this review is I'm just gonna go through like how I fell in love with this book. What it, what does this book deal with? It deals with like love and relationships, heartbreak, being on your own, finding someone new, or you know being or ending up with someone new. Not necessarily finding. It's not necessarily a search, right? Okay. So yeah, so what I'm going to do, the format is I'm going to read the first 13. The reason why I picked 13 is because it's an unlucky number to me, but it was one of my ex-girlfriend's favorite numbers, her favorite number. Yeah. And since this deals with love and since I still love her, always will, it'd be nice. Here we go. Absence and peace. Your absence taught me how to live without you. Time away taught me to find peace in being alone. So, I am teaching myself how to find peace in being alone. Reading is therapy. Thank you for letting me share these quotes, sir. Sir, I think you're a sir. I saw your silhouette. It was a male. <laughs> uh, oh, let's not go with cisgender and all that stuff. That general the gender binary thing I don't know okay let's not get into that but anyways whatever you identify as I'm just traditionally sir I hope that's okay with you okay <laughs> sorry not trying to step on any toes here second one human flaw should I make a comment about the first one too yeah yeah I'm trying to yeah so I guess I'll make a minor comment about each one human flaw number two we hide behind the human condition of making mistakes using imperfection as an excuse to hurt those who love us, expecting things to go back to how they once were after apologizing. So this is actually how I broke up. Well, is this both really, is this all my relationships? But yeah, the first, you know, the first few, like even off the first one, it hooked me, right? So I'm just gonna read the first th 13 to give you a general guide of why I love it. I think that's a fair thing. Reminders. You kill your future by mourning the past. So this is, I'm seeing a new woman now. She's awesome. Her name's Annie, and she's awesome. Um, and I wanted closure from my ex, but she didn't give it to me, so. I'll just continue on my way. Maybe one day. You know, maybe one day we'll have that nice chat, but. Be unfortunate if we don't. Sin's request two. Ah, sin. Okay, signs request two. But now sin sounds better because how it goes. Okay, you're you're sin. N number after page four, you're definitely sin. Sin's request number two. I want to undress her soul and feel her aura against my own. I'd like to get to know the things deep within her. My eyes have already grown familiar with her physique. I'd like for her to undress her soul and allow the universe inside. Of her to speak, I welcome the moments where I can literally taste her aura. Those moments where my own soul can explore her. I think that was the one. That was the one when I read that one, I was like, oh, like that, yeah, that one. Cause it's like one of those things where it's like, if I wrote that, I'd be proud of myself. I have very few things where I'm proud of, and none of them are should be ever shared with anyone other than the people they were wrote for written for. So maybe one day, because I have a few written for everyone. <sighs> Number five. Exits. X is short for exit. This is what I've come to realize. Stop leaving the door open for someone who no longer deserves a key. This juxtaposed, wow. Oh my God. They definitely put some thought into arrangement. Like, yeah. They, I say they, could have been you, sorry. How are, where am I at? Four, five, four, yeah, we're doing good. My video's around 11, 12 minutes in general. 
tangled. How quickly we become twisted, tied, and tangled within each other, lost in a translation that only we can comprehend. I understand your complex emotions flowing, crashing like waves within the ocean, open for me to enter. So good. I refuse to leave. We get each other. We know exactly what the other needs. This is falling in love. Number six. I should share this with her. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Number seven, best revenge. I remember that feeling, the cold air dancing on my hands as they were the only thing to be exposed. I sat there on the balcony of the apartment we shared. I took a deep breath, and yet this heaviness remained sitting within my chest. It was in that moment that I'd do anything to watch you crawl in pain. It was in that moment that I'd do anything to make you feel the way I did. But then I realized that the best revenge would be to become more of everything you failed to appreciate. Everything you'd one day search for after the world had its way with you. And when you returned, I'd be gone, enjoying myself happy and peaceful with someone stronger than you were. This sounds like her number seven. <sighs> yeah. Eight, the search. I set out in search of love, and what I often found was chaos and destruction. Hearts filled with malice and souls that resemble winter. Eyes that wander and lips that lie. I set out in search of everything that I could have given myself. And I know that now. Self-love first. Can't love someone else if you don't love yourself. Number nine. All lies. They were all lies, she thought to herself, while picking up the pieces of her own heart. And that, see, number, number nine leads to number seven. All lies leads to sweet revenge. She was an angel, and then I destroyed her. I cut off her wings. You know, I torched them. I torched her out of the sky. I torched her out of heaven. The fallen angel. Right? Satan is sometimes the fallen angel. Forgot his name, though. Whatever. Silence, my friend. I've been hurting, and I can find the words to explain what I truly feel. Oh doesn't make sense because I read it wrong. Silence, my friend. I've been hurting and I can't find the words to explain what I truly feel. And if I could, I don't believe you'd be able to comprehend the words within my soul. This is why I say nothing, as if silence is my only friend. Oh, shit. Sorry, Marcy. Uh, share this with her first. If she approves, then you can share it with the world. Otherwise, the author gets to see it. <laughs> Thanks for writing this book, dude. Encouragement number one. St Fuck. I'm gonna ball my eyes out. <sighs> Stop teaching women how to think like men. We rarely think. Don't encourage her to become the very thing that continues to destroy her. Don't encourage the type of behavior that makes men appear weak. Encourage women to be more of who they were meant to be. Respectable, valuable, loving, and strong. Intelligent and beautiful. Encourage her to be the type of woman that sends weak men running the other way. Got a message from an old friend I haven't heard from a while. Number 12. Reconnecting is important. A war with self. It's difficult. It's being painful. It's being weighing you down. You know it's time to let go. You know you deserve more. You know he's not who he used to be. 
Blinded by love, your emotions betray you every time. It's the constant battle between what you know and how you feel. And number 13, best for last, in a way. They're all amazing in their own way, right? Number 13, short and sweet. Fantasies. She's an angel with a filthy mind. Fantasies, three. She's an angel, three, four. With a filthy mind, three, four, five. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's, I've done the one where you go out and in. I wonder if I still have my poems from grade seven. Homeboy liked it. Stokes gave me an A plus, I think. Hmm. I got to see if he actually liked my poetry. Because that would explain why he was disappointed with the, the, the songwriting thing. Because he expected more. I got to ask him. Number 13. Again. Fantasies. She's an A. <laughs> Fantasies. She's an angel with a filthy mind. Okay. Uh, that's it. Check out this book. Whiskey Words in a Shovel by R.H. Sen. I killed the distance to get to you. It's on Amazon. I'll include the link. It's going to be an affiliate link because I'm poor. So if you buy it because of me, yeah, it'll help me out. Um, peace and love, guys. Just, you know, live every day trying to be a better you. And... Do whatever you can to make the world a better place.